Okay, so today's strength and balance class, we are going to be chair free as best as you comfortably can. So take into consideration if you're not feeling real stable, then have a chair or position yourself closer to a wall or a piece of furniture, whatever you need to do for yourself. But we're going to try to do some today uh, without as much support. So strength and balance is always a little bit more on the uh, advanced side. This is our advanced level class, okay? So we're gonna start out in Tadasan pose, mountain pose. So I want you to align your ankles under your hips. Remember, hips are your pelvic points, not the fleshy part, but the pelvic points. And as we stand tall, we're gonna give a lift across the collarbones, top of the shoulders, then feel the crown of your head pull straight up towards the ceiling. Now, I want you just to either find a soft gaze straight ahead, or if you feel confident enough to close your eyes and stand tall, then do so. And as you allow yourself to get more centered and into your body, if you feel comfortable enough to close your eyes while standing, try that out. So I want you to feel what that sensation is like and your trust level from within. If closing your eyes makes you feel dizzy at any point, then hold on to a piece of furniture so that you can feel more secure. And then let your breath grow nice and full. Feel the lift across your collarbones. Just letting the arms rest down to your sides as we create this powerful Tadasan mountain pose. And as we allow the breath, the opportunity to travel inward, feel the expansion front sides and back. And on your exhale, empty upper back. Feel the breath gradually releasing all the way down to your belly. And so as we lift more from the collarbones and we lift more from the upper back, we are creating that sensation of length. And you'll begin to note your belly button pulling slightly back towards your spine. And then allow your kneecaps to draw up. Feel the top of your thighs fully supporting you. Feel then the length of your toes as they reach forward without gripping at the floor. And as your inhale deepens, feel the rise of your belly, the expansion to your lower ribs, breath upward to collarbones, and emptying the breath upper chest, mid chest, and belly. And as you stand tall like the mountains, feel this deeper connectedness into your feet, into your legs. And I invite you to fold your hands to prayer position at your heart and just take a moment as we connect to our practice today. As you bow your head, I invite you to set your intention for your practice. What do you need from your practice? What do you want to see happen? Why did you show up? Set your intention for your practice. And let that reside into your heart. I invite you to relax your arms down to your sides once more. Still feel the length upward through the center of your head. And keeping the eyes gently closed or softly opening the eyes, I want you to allow your eyes to roll up to as if you were looking up towards the ceiling without moving your head. And as your eyes are rolling up towards the ceiling, notice what that does for your sense of balance. Do you still feel super strong through your feet, your legs, your buttocks, your belly? 
Do you still feel the top of your shoulders drawing upward? Take in another full breath, deep as you comfortably can. And now allow your eyes as if you would be looking straight ahead, focus in on that point. Good, kneecaps are still drawing up to give you ample strength. Good, and now bend both knees by about two to four inches, whatever works for you. And then I want you just to kind of take a little bob here. You're gonna bounce up and down a little bit. So the knees are bent, feet are flat, and as your torso remains upright, I want you to feel that sense of stability in through your legs, your torso, feel how powerful your feet are. And again, if you can, try to keep your eyes closed and stay connected to your body. Good. Let your breath grow deep again. And now slowly, Imagine you're trying to straighten your legs, push your feet into the ground even stronger. Don't let your legs straighten just quite yet. And then push into your feet even more and try to straighten your legs one more time and feel how the muscles across your buttocks, your belly, your thighs, all begin to engage. And then straightening out your legs, take in a full breath and empty it out. Good, allow your eyes to look up into the upper right corner. Again, trying to keep the eyes closed without tipping your chin up at any point. Let your jawline relax. And now, as if you would be looking straight ahead, pause there. And now let's look up into the upper left corner. And how different does that sensation feel when you move the eyes to the left versus the right? Does the forehead get involved at all? Can you keep your forehead relaxed? Full breath in again. Empty it out. And now let your eyes come back to the more neutral point and open just your right eye. Good. Close right eye and open just your left eye. And close. Open both eyes, look straight ahead. Blink a few times, close your eyes. Look up towards the ceiling and now open your eyes and also look up high towards the ceiling. Sweep over to your upper right corner. Eyes are open at this point. Come back up overhead, keep your forehead relaxed. And now look to the upper left corner and notice how different this feels with your eyes open than when the eyes were closed. Look up overhead once again without lifting your chin. Good, and then track the eyes down and pause. Nice. Give about a four inch bend to your knees let the knees run parallel to each other. So we don't wanna let the knees drop in. Let your knees bend. Good, and lift just your right heel off the floor. Try not to take your weight into your left hip. Good, put your right heel down and lift just your left heel up. Keep the knees still bent deep. Feel the stretch around your ankles, into your thighs, up into your knees. Put your left heel down and then gradually straighten out. Good, kick your right leg out to the side, come back. Left leg out to the side and back. Right and left and right and left, right, and left. Good, so you can start to feel your buttocks engage more. Make sure that you feel nice and solid down into your grounding foot. Notice, do your toes wanna grip the floor? Let your toes relax. 
feel how long they are. Good. Let's go one more each side. Good. Now lift your right knee up and forward and straight up with your left and your right and your left. Right, left, good, right, left, couple more, really feel the lifting action, the thigh and the knee up, good, okay, we're going to go one more each side, right, Left, now, bend your right knee, kick your foot behind you. Bend your left knee, kick your foot behind. Right, left, right, left. So can you feel buttocks engage just a little bit more? So try not to tip forward while you do that. We are physically trying to push the foot behind. So let me just show you, you're not just bending the knee, you are physically trying to push the foot behind you. Okay, can you feel the difference there? Deep in your breath. And again, if you need to, hold on to something. Push your foot behind you. Good. Now lift your right knee up, forward, left knee up, right knee up, left knee up. Good, keep going, back and forth. Feel how tall you are. Good, now. Right leg to the side, left leg to the side. Right, left, right, left. Feel how your grounding knee draws up. We don't want the knee to sink down. We wanna to feel top of the thigh engaging more. And mentally ask yourself, Am I in the same place where I started? Some of you I'm only seeing chest now instead of face <laughs> and body. <laughs> Good. Keep going. So we have a tendency to start traveling around the room sometimes, so <laughs> try to keep yourself nice and rooted. Good, and now shake it out. Shake it out, shake your hips, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Get your shoulders going. Get your elbows going. So you guys always laugh at me when I do this one, that's all right. Get loosey-goosey, get in there, get into your joints, loosen up. Step your feet a little wider now and take a bend to your knees and come up. Take a bend to your knees and kind of lower down a bit. And then push back through your elbows. Deep in your breath. Good. Keep bending at the knees. Keep moving the arms. Take up more space. Good. And come back up. Stand tall. Notice what's going on. How's the heart rate? Heart rate up. Heart rate up. Give me a thumbs up if you feel your heart rate up. Good. All right. Nice. Take in a deep breath, please. Empty it out. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, arms down to your sides. Inhale, arms up high. Lift your right knee up. Good, foot down, 
arms down. Inhale, arms up high, left knee up, and slowly lower down. Inhale, arms up high, right knee up, lower down. Good, inhale, arms up, left knee up, and lower down. Good, reach to your right without turning your feet. Sweep around to the front and reach to your left. Sweep around to your front, to the right. Sweep around to your front, to the left. Good, sweep around to the front, arms up. Float the arms down halfway and create a circular pattern. Good. As you're creating the circular pattern, speed it up a bit. Go a little bit tighter with the circular pattern. Keep that circle going. Fingers point up towards the ceiling. Circle the opposite way now. Good, feel your upper back engaging more. Point your fingers down and create a circular pattern. Good, now turn your palms face up. Inhale, arms up, touch your hands overhead, interlace your fingers, and then tip to your left. Full breath in, please. Inhale, come up. Exhale, tip to your right. Good, inhale, come back up. Halfway down with your arms once more. Bend your elbows. Exhale, touch the top of your shoulders. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, touch. Good. Now I'm gonna throw it in there for you. If you want, raise your right knee while moving your arms. Good, arms out, foot down. Lean to your right, lift your left knee up. Keep going with the arms. Good. And release, arms down, shrug your shoulders, move them back and down. All right, golfers, that one was for you today. <laughs> Step your feet wide, hands up to your waistline, point all toes straight ahead. So don't let your feet turn out to the sides. All toes point straight ahead. Tip to your right, Come up, tip to your left, come up, tip forward, come up, tip back, come up, turn to your right, tip your left elbow forward, come up, forward, bow forward, Come up, turn to your left. Tip your right elbow forward and down. Come back up, turn, face forward, fold halfway. Come back up and then tip back. Look up towards the ceiling, back up. Good, turn your right toes out. So right toes turn out, hips still fairly square to this front part of your space. Good, take your left hand, left thigh. Right hand either out or up. And now slide your left hand down while still maintaining squaring off to the front part of your space. Good. Your right toes are pointing wide to the right, buttocks is strong. Inhale, come up. Take your right hand down, 
you can put left hand to your waist, shoulder height or up, and tip down over your straight right leg. If balance allows, take a look up towards your left hand. Good, strong belly. Inhale, up. Turn to your right. Hands at your waistline, feet have not moved. Bow halfway forward. Keep your torso parallel to the ground, shoulders back, so don't let your chest drop. Inhale, come up. Face forward, right toes turn forward. Left toes turn out to your side, right hand to your thigh. Keep your torso square to the front, so let your left side pull forward a bit, okay? Left toes are pointing out to your left side. Right hand down, left hand can either be at your waist, out, or up. And as comfort allows, slide right hand straight down your right leg. Feel your belly engage. Push into both big toes here. Inhale, come up, triangle. Left hand comes down your leg, right arm up. Breathe deep. Push into the big toes, keep yourself strong. Good, inhale, come up, hands to your waist, turn to your left, fold forward, halfway. Keep pushing into your big toes. Heels wanna do all the work, don't let them. Get into your toes. Shoulder blades back and in. Find your back cleavage here, squeeze in. Good, inhale, come up. Turn your left toes forward, face forward. Stand nice and tall, keep your hips level. Good. Now from here, we're going to push off. So we're gonna start by giving a little bend to the right knee. Push off your right foot and step up so that your right foot meets your left. Feet together. All right, from here, step wide again. Now give a slight bend to your left knee. Keep your right leg straight, and now push off your left foot and step to your right, feet together. Good, long stance again, step wide. Give a bend to your right knee, push off, step together. Good, step your feet wide. Good, bend your left knee, right leg is straight, push off and step to your right. Good, feet wide again. Good, take in a deep breath, exhale. Right knee bends, together, inhale. Left knee bends, feet together. Good, inhale, right knee, Exhale, good, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, acknowledge, are you traveling around your space? Try to stay in one location. Good. Here's our last round. We're gonna end up on the left side. Good, stand tall. Feet parallel to each other. Good, nice. All right, from here, let's work the shoulders a little bit. We are going to bend our elbows. So it's a collapse 
saguaro. <laughs> All right, so hands are pointing down, elbows up. Lift your right elbow up and behind you. Bring it back around. Lift your left elbow up and behind you. Bring it back around. Right elbow, left elbow. Good, now right arm up, left arm down. Okay, now move from your shoulders. Shrug them up, back and down. Shrug them up, back and down. Shrug them up, back and down. Point your right arm down, left arm up. Shrug up, back and down. So feel the smooth rotation. Try not to be too jerky in that movement. One more. Good, now lift. So both arms are up. Good. Tip your fingers behind you. Be like you're carrying a tray, okay? Now tip your fingers forward. Tip them back. Tip them forward. Does this involve your chin at all? So notice, do you start to push your chin forward? Point your fingers forward. Point them behind you. Fingers forward. Point them back. Reach wide and lower down. Good. Shake them out. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, next up. You may want to step, and if you want, grab a drink of water. Um, we may want to use a piece of furniture or a wall for this next part just to have it handy. If you're feeling like, hey, I got enough balance in me, I'm doing great today, don't even get close to the furniture. We are gonna start by having furniture or wall to your left side. Okay, lean into your left leg, please. We're gonna move into Dancing Warrior. I want you to bend your right knee, reach back, and find the top of your right foot or your ankle. Good. Now, start to lift your left arm up for full Dancing Warrior, if you are so inclined. Stand tall, breathe deep, feel your belly engaged. So we have right hand, right hand to right foot, left hand can hold the wall or a piece of furniture. So we have right hand to right foot. And if you need to, use your left hand to hold on to a piece of furniture. Take in another deep breath. Good, and release. Nice, so notice left hip, left side of the buttocks, so your grounding leg did a lot of the work there. Up to you if you need to reposition, step to the other side of the room if you want, or you can turn around however you need to, okay? Find your stability, lean now into your right leg, Bend your left knee, reach back, find the top of your foot or your ankle. Remember, we wanna to try to pull the knee back in alignment with the right knee. If you can see your left knee, bring it back more. Good, if you feel confident enough to take your right arm up, go for it. Full inhale, please. Stand up a little taller. Good. And release. And shake it out. So point to which hip you feel that more in. Okay. And is it because we just came out of it or did it hurt beforehand? beforehand. Okay, good to know. All right, from here, what we're gonna do, again, you can have wall space or furniture nearby, but if you can, try not to 
get too close. So again, we're trying to challenge ourselves, but be comfortable and safe in your space. Bend both knees just a, a millimeter. It doesn't need to be too much. Pick up your right foot, cross it over your left. Right over left. Now notice when you do that, the right hip wants to push forward. So push right hip behind, and I want you to tighten more from your bottom. Right knee will stay slightly bent, and you can still have a millimeter bend to your left knee. Do not push your left hip out to your side. Feel it, hug in, buttocks tightens. This may be it, hang here if it is. If you can, start to fold forward. Maybe this is where you fold forward, hold on to some furniture. Maybe you can get to the point where you can bring your hands down to the floor. Feel the release and through your back, your hips, your hamstrings. Push into both big toes. Good, fire up your legs, slowly come up, unwind, good. Shake out your left leg, good, circle your hips like a hula hoop. Circle the other way so it's not just one way you're moving, good, feet back together. Millimeter bend to both knees. Pick up your left, step it over your right. Left over right. Good. Pull the left hip back and pull in with your right side. So you should feel taller when you do that and you're actually going to put more weight into your left foot when you do that too. So if right hip goes here, feel it pull in and press into your left foot more. All right, find your forward fold. Good, again, you can use a piece of furniture if you need to. If it works out to bring your hands down closer to the floor, go for it. Push into your big toes. They love to lift up, so push them down. Good, fire up your legs. Feel your belly and your back engage and slowly come back up. Unwind, good, hula hoop, loop around. Now this time, figure eight. What, how do we do that? Figure eight. <laughs> Maybe you need to step your feet wider, you can do it. Is it cha-cha time? Is that what we need to do? <laughs> Good. All right, come back around, shake it out. Nicely done. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna give you a couple of options. Either sit in your chair or sit on the floor. Either way is perfectly fine. You can sit in a chair, you can sit on the floor. Either way is perfectly fine. If you are on a chair, I want you to perch more forward and rest the back of your heels down, toes up towards the ceiling, legs straight out in front. All right, everybody, arms up high. Here we go, reach forward. Let your hands rest to a comfortable spot. And as you're leaning over your legs, just take a moment, feel the release across your back. Let's look up and towards the toes, please, so that your neck stays long. 
versus looking at your knees or thighs. Notice how long my back is. So I'm trying to push from the base of the shoulder blades, trying to push that part forward more. And then the spine is nice and long and there's your deep stretch through your back. Good. Walk your hands back up. Good. We are going to position, bend your knees. Those of you in a chair, bend your knees. If you are on the floor, keep your left leg still straight, please. And what we're gonna do is, is cross the right knee over the left. Right knee over the left. Okay, so those of you in a chair, your left knee is bent, foot flat, and then we've all got our knees crossed, right knee on top of left. All right, this may be enough. Hang here. If it works out for you, fold forward. Good, what's your breath pattern like? Holding breath only makes it more difficult, so keep spine nice and long. Feel what's going on in through your back. Feel how long your torso is. Feel the length even up into your neck. Let your breath grow full. Good. Walk your hands back in. Keep your legs as they are. Those of you in a chair, take your left hand to the front chair leg. Those of you on the floor, walk your left hand out at hip height to your side, about a good foot, foot and a half. From here, right arm can begin to lift. Good, so you can either touch the ceiling or you can start to bend your left elbow and reach your right upper arm alongside your right ear. Deepen your breath, please. So we're getting into the waistline, the IT band, the side ribs, all the way up into the right armpit. Inhale, come on up. And gently unwind. Good, give a little wiggle of your toes, your ankles. And now let's bend the left knee over on top of the right, left on top of right. So those of you in a chair, your right knee is bent, so your knee and ankle are in alignment with each other. And as you sit up a little bit taller, again, this may be more than enough, so hang here if it is. If it works out, fold forward. Good, so notice how the hip feels. Notice how long your spine is. What's your breath pattern like? Good, deepen your breath. And slowly walk back up. Good. Those of you in a chair, take your right hand to the front chair leg, right side, right hand, right front chair leg. Those of you on the floor, take your right hand out, roughly at hip height to your side, and let's all lift left arm up. Now, if comfort allows, start to bend your right elbow. Those of you who are on the floor, Elbow bends and we reach the left upper arm alongside the ear. Keep the breath full. Both sitting bones are rooting down. Don't lift your left side up. Good. Lift up and gently unwind. 
Okay, so those of you in a chair, I want you to wiggle back maybe about an inch, inch and a half, so that you're not right up to the edge of the chair. Those of you on the floor, we are going to bend both knees. Those of you in the chair, put your hands underneath the seat of your chair so that you have stability. You're not gonna sit on your hands, you're gonna reach under and try to grab the seat of the chair. So, everybody, feet up off the floor, lift your knees in towards your chest. Good. Get your feet up off the floor. If you're in a chair, Hold underneath the seat of your chair so that you feel confident enough, okay? Can you lift your arms forward? Get your feet up, feet up, lift your feet. Breathe deep. Good, and release. Fantastic. Those of you in a chair, just find a comfortable seat, feet flat to the floor, wiggle back in. Those of you on the floor, you can cross your legs. Sitting up nice and tall, feel how long your torso is. I want you to bring your right arm behind you and then take your left hand behind. Find your right forearm with your left hand. Right forearm, left hand. Good. Now, is it comfortable for you to lean forward? It may not be, that's okay, you don't have to. We're just checking out our flexibility. Be respectful of your back. Good. Inhale, come back up. Good, those of you on the floor, so we're all gonna unwind our arms. Those of you on the floor, note which leg you have to the outside. Let's switch it up. Good, sit up nice and tall once more. Arms behind, take your right hand over now to your left forearm. Right hand, left forearm. And now, if comfort allows, Think about leading from your collarbones, not the top of your shoulders. So we don't wanna roll the shoulders forward. Push your chest forward and then start to bow and lean forward. Take your time. Right hand, left forearm, breath is deep. Good, inhale, gently come back up, take your time, unwind. Good, those of you on the floor, if it would serve you better to stretch your legs out, or if you even wanna lay down onto your back, you can do that. Those of you seated in a chair, I want you to wiggle back into your chair so that you feel nice and supported. If you're on the floor, let's go ahead and allow the palms to relax and face up. Those of you in a chair, you may wanna turn your palms down onto the top of your thighs. Make those final adjustments in your body so that you feel all the parts across your back and shoulders beginning to relax. as you're acknowledging the space in through the torso. Let's just allow the back body to soften down towards the support. Feeling the fullness to your breath. And then allow the breath to gradually empty. Let's bring the breath in deep again, belly rising, ribs expand. Breath upward to the collarbones. 
and emptying the breath, upper chest, mid chest, belly, full inhale, belly rising, ribs expand, breath upward to the collarbones, and exhaling, upper chest, mid chest, belly. And as the back body softens once again, we want to feel the length and through the front of the torso, acknowledging the space as breath moves in with ease and acknowledging the emptying of the breath as it grows a little longer. And as you observe the changes in your body, Feel the softness of your eyelids over your eyes, the release of any tension into your forehead, the space that you give to yourself to acknowledge where the breath moves. Are both lungs equally expanding or is one side more predominant? As your mind continues to stay with the breath, let your body relax. We begin to find this deeper connection. Now start to focus on the fullness at the top of your inhalation. And then acknowledge as you empty breath, acknowledge at the bottom of your exhalation, the emptiness. Let your back relax once more. And as you bring your breath in, acknowledge the fullness. And as you empty your breath out, really allow each bit to soften internally. And now with the focus shifting to the fullness, the top of your inhale, and emptying Notice that space at the bottom of your exhalation.
And as you bring your breath in a little deeper, feel the length of the exhalation, that full amount as you empty breath completely. And draw the breath in deep again. Notice how ribs begin to expand even more. And emptying the breath out slowly. Just start to give a little wiggle to your toes, to your feet, your ankles. Give a wiggle to your fingers, your hands, your wrists. And those of you on the floor, give a bend to your knees. Those of you in your chair, just stay where you are, feeling some movement in through your arms, your shoulders. Those of you on the floor, roll to one side and pause there on your side. Good. And those of you on the floor, use both arms to slowly press you all the way up. Let's find a seated position as we start to bring our practice to a close. Acknowledging the amount of space that you have through your torso. Let your eyes soften once again. And as you're experiencing all of these changes from the beginning of practice to here at the end of practice, taking notice of how much space that you have through your spine, how much mobility you've created in through your shoulders. Those of you on the floor, are you surprised that you're on the floor? So as you give yourself this amount of awareness, these gentle strides forward in your well-being, as we bring our practice to a close, we're going to do one more breath technique. And what we're going to do is three quick inhales through the nose, one long exhale through the mouth. And we're gonna do this three times total. So everybody take in a deep breath through your nose. Nice long inhale, long exhale through your mouth, please. And here we go. And just take in another deep inhale. And a longer exhale through the mouth. And if you ever feel that afternoon lull, that is a very easy breath technique to provide more energy. Three quick inhales, one long exhale. And I invite you to only do about three or four rounds of that at a time. If you do too many, you will feel dizzy. So it's important to just do a few rounds at a time. And as we bring our practice to a close, I invite you to fold your hands to your heart, the bow of your head, just take a moment, look deep into your heart once again. And as your intention has resided here in your heart, I invite you now to allow that intention to release outward into the universe. And as you give thanks and gratitude, as your body has created strength, balance, flexibility, Move into your day, even from that space in your mind, with balance, flexibility, strength. Remember where you've placed things. <laughs> Remember where you pick up something new. Try to stand on one foot a little bit more throughout your day and gaining all of that power. I bow to each of you. Namaste.